What's up, Vikings? I want to show you why you should try prying goblet squats in your warm-ups before doing your regular goblet squats with your heavier bells. Now, before you do, take off your thick-soled shoes. This solves a lot of issues I see with people crashing in their feet and their knees. Just use minimalist shoes or go barefoot so your toes can better splay. Once you're set up, point the toes out at a 45-degree angle so your knees can track your toes and you can better mobilize your hips in the squat position. Pick up the bell bottoms up. Break it in half, keeping the elbows down. Don't let them flare out as you see there. Activate those lats. Readjust your squat as you need to. Once again, splaying those toes down, rooting them down, pulling yourself down into the squat. Drive the elbows on the inside of the knees to better pry them open with the hip sockets. And then you can lean left to right, mobilizing your ankles left to right as well. And then add in some curls to better get more extension in your spine. Then drop it down on the last rep, coming up nice and tall into that squat. Hope that helps you out.